Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. My name is Dream and today we have another great video because we are talking about some of the big and small home projects that we're gonna tackle in 2024. So if you guys are new here, um, we moved to Texas, the Dallas, Texas area. We live in a little suburb outside of the big old city. Um, about a little over a year and a half ago, we transferred with my husband's job and um, we have been absolutely loving it. We bought a new built home, um, but a lot of the stuff when we were through the building process are is still like very builder grade. Um, and then slowly we have been adding little touches to our home to just cozy it up and then make it a little bit more eclectic and a little less builder grade. So if you have just purchased a home or if you are in the market to do a few DIY projects, I hope this video gives you a little motiv motivation and inspiration that you can tackle those areas in your home. So the first area in our home that I want to tackle in 2024 is our behind our sofa in our main living room. It is just a blank wall, a blank canvas, and it needs a little something. It looks at the fireplace, and I was going back and forth, should I do a gallery wall? Should I do um, picture molding, like another textile on there to give that wall some texture? But I think I'm gonna do large landscape prints. Um, I found these on Amazon and you can't really see. Um, this one is like a lighter pastel one. These only because they have the wood. I love that natural wood. We have a lot of natural oak wood in our house that we just put clear sealant on. Um, I just like the look of that natural wood a lot. So I was thinking maybe these, I'm gonna take you guys out to that space um, in just a second. But this and the price on this one, one, it had great reviews on Amazon. Two, the price was $125 and you get three prints. And I thought that was a really good price. They come in different designs. Some are not landscape prints, like if you just wanted to do succulents or something of that nature, um, you could do that as well. They even had the black and white, but I think I want a little bit of color, guys. I'm thinking I want a little bit of color. So my favorite ones were, I liked this one. What do you guys think? So those three prints. I also liked the first one that I showed you. So one, two, and then the other print that I liked I liked this one, but I feel like it's a little moody. And I feel like the other ones will be better. Oh, so I'm still going to take a little look-see at Hobby Lobby. I haven't been there in, I feel like, quite a while. Maybe before Christmas time. So I need to go to Hobby Lobby. And then just to see what they have out for landscape prints. And then I do want to take a trip to World Market to see what they have out for some prints. And then I'll make my decision. But the price on the Amazon one is really good. And um, I taped it out so we can kind of see the size. It's kind of going to kind of be massive. I didn't really... When I looked at the measurements, I was like, oh, 24 by 36. I wasn't really thinking. I was like, oh, that's like two feet by not really thinking. But then when I taped it out, I'm like, that's kind of big. So this is our sofa area. And I just taped out one. It's not perfect, but that's pretty big. That would be one and we would have three of those. So it would pretty much cover up this whole wall with a big landscape piece. I feel like I want to go with the number one, that pastel one, because it's not too much, but it just gives a little something, but not a lot. So what do you guys think? 
the of the prints that we saw let me know down below what was your favorite one okay guys the next project that we're wanting to tackle in 2024 is our laundry room and it is quite the small space but i will have to say it functions well for us i have an area to hang up clothing i have an area to throw lint in um we have like our mop and our broom those are located on the back side of the door where you can't really see but I do want to make it look cuter. It's still very builder grade and it doesn't have any charm or, you know, any little oof to it. So I was thinking that I wanted to do beadboard on the lower half of the back wall and I'll show you guys that when we get in there. We did beadboard, a, uh, I wanted to do wide beadboard in the laundry room. We did do beadboard in our powder bath, so I'll show you, show you that for reference. Um, but I wanted to do the wider one for the bottom half laundry room and then maybe do like a plaid wallpaper on top it is a laundry room have you guys ever done wallpaper in a laundry room so i don't know how well it would really hold up hold up but let me show you the plaid paper that i was thinking about you can't really see it so i really liked this one it's gray and white and it would just be on that half of the wall that is um has the bee board on it. So white bee board on the bottom and then just this gray plaid on top. Here's a picture of it on like a larger scale. The lines of this one, but would that be, I feel like this would be just too maybe closely related to the bee board because the bee board is like slats. So those are kind of my two options for inner power bath guys and then this is beadboard but I was thinking I would do they have this smaller plank and then wider planks I was thinking I would do the wider planks and in here we just left the wall it's regular um, just a regular color this is actually city loft by Sherwin Williams it looks white but it's not quite white but we have beadboard in this bathroom and it goes all the way around but what do you guys think? It would be the wider planks, so like this, so not the middle line, but the wider planks, and I would leave it a white color. I just want it light and bright. And then the top piece, I would make that thicker because we wanna put, I wanna put some hooks on there. Just so. So this is our laundry room. Like I said, it is petite, guys, very petite. Um, this is the wall in question that I was talking about so on the back of the door we do have like those so this is the wall it goes pretty high up but I was thinking that we would do it's the wall that's opposite of the washer and dryer beadboard to here so from down up to here and then do hooks what do you guys think hooks we would do a few hooks. I'm thinking dark metal. And if I did the wallpaper, the wallpaper would go the rest of the way up the wall or I can just paint the wall, something like that. It also would be nice to get, we have the pedestals, which I absolutely love. And our floor is like a tile. But to get, um, I've seen they have the covers for the washing machine. That would be really nice to get the cover so that we can, you know, use this to, you know, I can do more decor and that kind of stuff on top of there. Our laundry room, like I said, it functions really well for us. I have a place to hang my stuff. I throw my lint over there. Like I have storage down here in all these drawers. Like it works really well for us. I don't have any complaints in that area. I just wanted to look you know, less builder grade and a little, you know, prettier. And the last area, which I am in right now, we are looking to tackle is our guest room. And our guest room just needs those finishing touches, guys. So, you know, we have a bed, we have a dresser and all of those things. I want to just hang up. I think maybe a mirror needs to go in the corner there for our guests. And then I, on this side... 
I was thinking I wanted to hang up like a hook and put some landscape art there. But this guest room isn't bad, but I just feel like it needs a little, a little something, a little something extra. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked hearing some of the projects that we're going to be tackling um, in 2024. The most, what we're going to do coming up is just house maintenance. Like we have um, touch-up paint to do around our home and all of those little not very decor type things that you need to do, but just things that you need to do to maintain our, your home. We have those coming up, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below. If you, are you guys working on any house projects in 2024? Um, but I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye guys. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind?